Hi everyone, this is Curtis, and in this tutorial I will give you an introduction to Streamy. Streamy is the app that you can use with many different cameras. The focus of this video is going to be on what Streamy can do, but not specifically how to do any of these things. We have deep dive tutorials that cover each of these features in detail. This video is simply supposed to answer the question, is Streamy right for you? To get started, we have five tabs along the bottom, the home tab that we're looking at right now, events, account, help, and upgrade. Starting here with the home tab, we have a horizontally scrolling list of events. These are the most recent events that we know of. We can make them bigger, if that's what you want. And you can tap on an event. If you want to share the recording in the snapshot, it's just a quick tap to do that. Next up, we have groups. After you've added several cameras, you might want to put them together into a group. That's what we have here. And you can quickly tap on a group to get it streaming. Once your cameras are streaming, you can easily drag and drop them around. Scroll within this, you can show full screen. This camera pans and tilts and zooms which I can do right on the screen here. I'm doing this demo on my iPad, but you can do the same things on an iPhone or even your Apple TV. And you can easily remove cameras from the group. Make them smaller if you want to make more room for other cameras. And that's groups. Next, our camera section, we have all of the individual cameras that we've added. You can drag and drop these to move them around. You can tap on a camera to start streaming it. We can enable audio, save snapshots, make 30 second recordings. Uh, we can also make it smaller and add cameras to this. And basically turn it into a group and close it up when we're done with it. Next section are the devices associated with our smart home system. I use Samsung SmartThings, which is the one system we support at the moment. Each of these represents a device on the smart home system. So for instance, garage one here is the main garage door and you can see that Streamy knows that it can be closed or open. And I have actions associated with each of these things. So for instance, when the door is open or opening, it will announce that event on one of these two devices. And we've got a timeout so that it doesn't do it too often. It can get annoying. Uh, but we can also log in events. So each time the garage door is opened, then my Apple TV will use two cameras to grab some snapshots and recordings and save those. But you can also just save a snapshot or recording to your iCloud photo album by choosing one of these other options. And Streamy doesn't require you to configure it to understand your smart home system. And instead, after you have enabled this feature, uh, Streamy will learn the capabilities of your smart home system by observing uh, events as they occur. So as you open and close doors um, or set off motion sensors, uh, Streamy will become aware of those features, the devices, and their valid states and allow you to add actions to them without having to configure anything. Finally, Streamy is capable of performing 24-7 recording of your cameras to a local file server, such as a Mac, a PC, Linux, or an appliance-style NAS, like my Synology here. <laughs> Configuring it is as easy as giving it authentication information, choosing a folder, and we can see here that some file system information about free space. You can set up quotas if you want to, so I've told it that I want a maximum of 60 days of recording. Uh, I haven't specified maximum space that it should consume or a minimum space that it should remain uh, leave unused. You can choose which cameras you want it to record or leave this list blank to record any cameras that a device is streaming. And finally, you can choose which devices you want to actually perform the recording. So any cameras that either of these two devices are streaming will be uh, recorded. When you want to add 
a file server as easy as tapping there. And if you don't happen to know the IP address of the server you want, you can click search and Streamy will list it on the network to see if it can find any file servers. And once you find the one you want, you just need to type in the authentication information, choose some options, and you're good to go. Likewise, though, I forgot to mention that when you want to add a camera, you need only choose what type of camera you want to add. For some cameras, though, you can search for them, and Streamy can show you all of the cameras it discovered on your network. Tap on the camera, provide a password, and you are good to go. The Events tab has the same content that was at the top of the Home tab, uh, but these are grouped by day and allow you to sort of search through the events as well as manage them and delete them. Like before, we can tap on an event to see it, play it, share it. But we can also filter the events if, for instance, I just want to see events that happened in the driveway. We can see all of our driveway events. We can go back and clear the filter to see all of our events. And if I want to get rid of everything that happened on August 19th, just hit delete, and they're all gone. The account tab is where you manage account information. You can set up your profile. You can see your purchase history. You can quickly mute this so that you don't get any more notifications until the next day. Modes are a powerful feature uh, that allow you to assign a mode to an action and then quickly enable or disable that mode. So for instance, some of my cameras, I want motion events all of the time, but others, I only want motion events when we're away from home, like the interior cameras. And so you can just tap on a mode to enable or disable it, and you can define whatever modes you want and assign those to the um, camera motion detection actions that you set up. If you have multiple devices, you can invite a device uh, by giving it a code, and it can join your account by typing in that code. Here you can see a list of devices associated with this account. And finally, there may be several accounts that you're interested in, such as the one at home, the one at the office, the one at your mom's place. And you can manage those all independently on the same device by uh, adding accounts. Next up, the Help tab gives you some basic information from our knowledge base, as well as access to the tutorial you saw the first time you launched Streamy. But most importantly, we have the support system here where you can send us some messages within the Streamy system, and we will have access to some of your account metadata, so that may allow us to help, help you with whatever issue you've run into. You can also email us, but this is far more effective and often saves a step. Finally, the Upgrade tab down at the bottom, if you've purchased Streamy already uh, through the App Store, you can restore your purchase right here if it was done on the same account that you're logged into on your current iOS device. Uh, and you can redeem a promo code if you have one. Otherwise, these options for purchases and subscriptions are how you can support the development effort that we've done. All right, guys, uh, that is it for this tutorial. I hope it answered the question for you about whether or not streaming is right for you. Again, this was not supposed to take a deep dive into any particular feature. We have other tutorial videos that do that. Please reach out if you have any questions. Thanks.